Oh, if you could just smell this. Oh my goodness. The smell is just unbelievable. I want some aromatics to give my soup a lot of flavor, so I'm gonna start with an onion and a carrot. Just dice that up rather roughly. I have maybe two, mm, it's closer to three times as much uh, onion as carrot. Really, you, you probably wanna stick with twice as much onion as carrot, so probably that much. But I, I tend to like the onion and the soup, so a little bit extra is not gonna hurt it, to be honest. We need some red lentils. Don't use brown lentils or any other type of lentils. Use these red lentils. They're very small, uh, they have a different flavor, and they will uh, cook down uh, really nice. We're just gonna take the carrots and the onion, uh, over to the pan, give them a little bit of color, and uh, then we can add in the rest of our ingredients, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. So we're just gonna cook these on high until we get some nice uh, color on them, and the color will just help give our soup a nice uh, little flavor base. So you can see we're starting to get a little bit of color on these, like look at this little carrot right there and some of these onions, and we'll just keep going for another few minutes. So we've gotten a nice flavor base here by putting color on the carrots and the onions. To that, we'll add our one cup of lentils. We'll add four cups of water and two teaspoons of salt, and we'll bring it up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. I have here some cumin seeds. You don't have to use cumin seeds. If you don't want to, you can just straight up use powdered cumin. Um, I think uh, the cumin seeds impart a stronger flavor. Now, I'm not gonna add it at the beginning. I want to add this at least after it's been halfway through cooking because if I add the cumin or pretty much any other uh, powdered spice, something like soup that takes a while to cook, I'll cook off so much of the flavor. If you are trying to put some fresh herbs like parsley or basil or what have you into your food that you're cooking, you want to put that in the very end. So I'm going to add some about halfway through cooking, maybe three quarters of the way. And then I'll even sprinkle a little bit into each serving bowl as a finisher, along with a dash of lemon. You can see they totally change color and they more resemble the cumin that you're used to. And I, I really wish there was smell-o-vision uh, on these videos. I mean, because just, just the aroma of these and you know the taste of the cumin is just so intense compared to any powdered version that you might find. Because remember, all we got in there is lentils, a little bit of onion and carrot, some salt, cumin, and a squeeze of lemon. So. The better each ingredient is, the better this dish will taste. I've got my soup on a simmer now. It's gonna take maybe 30 minutes or so. And I've got the lid cracked a little bit because I, I do want some of that uh, moisture, some of that water to evaporate and I want this soup to condense down a little bit. So here's the soup we've taken off the fire. You may be wondering, wait a minute, there's like big chunks of carrot in there and all these like lentils and how are we gonna eat this really nicely? This guy right here is a secret tool. Uh, he may look small, but uh, he can get a lot accomplished. So really just get in there and uh, pulse your soup. So there is our mighty immersion blender uh, doing work for us. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can just use a regular uh, big old high powered blender. Here's what our soup looks like now. It's very smooth and it's just incredibly creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cumin to this now. I like to add cumin to the whole soup. Oh, if you could just smell this. Oh my goodness. The smell is just unbelievable. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. If you cut your lemon like this, there's no seeds in here at all and I can just go ahead and get in a few drops of lemon juice along with a sprinkle of this cumin and give that a little stir. And I mean, you're just left with the creamiest soup. It's 100% um, vegetarian. Uh, this goes really well with kibbeh. If you have some kibbeh, please eat it with shorbat adas or this red lentil soup. And uh, I really hope you enjoy sahtain. Mm, yeah, the, it, it, it just hits the spot, it really does. It's snowing outside right now and this will just warm you uh, both your heart and your belly. Sahtik.